Hi, everybody. In case you're new here, I'm Jonathan Noble, divorce and family law attorney licensed in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, the Garden State. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I just haven't had the time. Why? Because I'm spending a lot of time getting people out of terrible situations that they were stupid enough to get into. So in an effort to have you avoid the same fate, I'm going to make a couple videos about it. Stay tuned. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Don't be a sacrificial lamb, okay? You could have a good heart, but have boundaries or else what? You're going to end up in a divorce lawyer's office if you marry a toxic person. Sometimes your empathy can enable someone else's toxic behavior. Yeah, you're, you're good and kind and think the world is, you know, a great place and everybody is the same. But I've seen situations where highly empathetic people connect with another person who's toxic and they suck the bandwidth right out of the empath. It's horrible. And if they ma get married, it's even worse. Here's a couple useful tips for all my empathetic viewers around the world. Number one, be judicious with your empathy. Be discerning with who you give the empathy to. Don't just pour your heart out and your resources out and your bandwidth out to every, you know, person who's having a pity party. It's not going to end well and you'll end up hating yourself. You know, compassion has a dark side. And if you're overly compassionate, I'm not saying not to be compassionate, but if all you do is shovel your compassion onto your partner and there's no reciprocation, I'm not talking about transactional type of relationship, but this person is like constantly in a problematic state. Be careful. It is not going to end well. If you marry them, you are going to basically be in a state of servitude to their uh, emotional state. You know, empathy can be your greatest strength, but can also be your biggest weakness if you don't regulate it. I hate to be a hard ass about this, but Enough is enough, okay? If someone is just constantly spiraling downward in a bad vortex and you marry them, heaven forbid, you're finished. Nobody can withstand all that uh, for an extended period of time, all right? I want you to live your best life. Be very judicious with your empathy. Last tip, let no be no. If somebody in your life continually asks you for things that are a stretch for you or you know they could do for themselves, let no be no, all right? Let's stop these uh, issues dead in their tracks. Remember, best situation is you're not going through a bad divorce, breakup, all right? That's why I'm making this video. Share this with somebody who needs to see it that needs a wake-up call. Be careful out there.